Thanks for joining us. Dusty Sonnenberg, field leader with Ohio's Country Journal and the Ohio Agnet. We are doing a cab cam this morning down in Washington Courthouse area, Fayette County. We are at Bauer Family Farms. We're going to catch up with Jed as he is getting ready to apply anhydrous ammonia this spring. Today's program brought to you by Precision Agri Services Incorporated. Well, Jed, tell us a little bit about what we're doing here today. So, putting on a little uh, pre plant anhydrous ammonia this morning. Um, you know, it's it kind of varies a little bit from region. Uh, this is a pretty odd shaped field that's pretty hard to side dress, which is what we normally try to do. But um, we decided to go ahead and put this on early. That way, we wouldn't run over as much corn trying to make all these tight point row turns. For those maybe not familiar or that aren't involved in farming, explain some of the thought process that goes into trying to decide which form of nitrogen you want to use and, and sort of when it's applied. Well, obviously, and any farmers listening know, there's there's two major things. Uh, number one being price, mm -hmm. um, and then after that, it's kind of how your farm set up. Uh, anhydrous ammonia, it, it's pretty hazardous for. Um, people handling it so you got to be very careful uh, everybody has to be trained with all the safety precautions and wear proper protective equipment um, and then the other one is 28 or 32 it's a liquid product um, you know you don't have to wear that it you should wear gloves it, it burns pretty good and cuts but much easier to handle much safer so those are the two main ones and then the third one that you'll see some of is a granular product uh, the urea and they'll spread it on top and then usually work it in or there is some uh, variations now that have time release capsules but so it's kind of personal preference um, we've been set up here on our farm to use anhydrous so that's kind of the direction we go but but you know, you always try to keep your options open. Talk a bit of some of the technology you've got going on here in the cab and what all is being controlled. Well, um, years ago, this would have been just state of the art, like space age type stuff. But so what we got going on now, um, obviously uh, auto track guidance, the tractor automatically drives itself. And then with the ammonia, we're running uh, rate controllers and all the valves and everything. So once everything's calibrated correctly, um, as the tractor goes across the field, the bar automatically adjusts the amount of nitrogen putting down in certain areas, depending on we how, how we have it set for those areas. And then as we get to the points in the field where we've already applied the ammonia, the bar will start shutting off sections so we don't over apply or under apply in areas of that nature. Well, Jed, we're out here in the spring applying anhydrous, and uh, some folks will do it now. Some folks will do it side dress. Tell us a little bit about maybe the thought process and when and timing applies. So, uh, again, there's so many factors, um, but depending on, you know, what works best for operation is, is key. So I really like to side dress uh, the majority of mine. Um, I feel like putting it on when the crop is growing makes it you know, maybe, maybe I don't need it as much, or I just I just feel more confident myself about putting it on when the crop needs it. But, you know, at this point, um, this field being shaped as it is and so on, I, I want to get it on now because we're going to run over a bunch of corn otherwise. And you also have, you know, it's kind of weather dependent. We, we're using nitrogen stabilizers to help keep the nitrogen in the soil and keep it where it is, but you do have a risk of volatility and losing the nitrogen the earlier you put it on when the crop's not growing. So there's so many factors that go into it. And a lot of it, you know, if, if we have time, a lot of farms will put on in the spring and then come back, you know, when the, I guess what I want to say is they'll put on in the spring until it's time to plant, they'll stop and then they'll come back maybe later on then and side dress the remainder. It's just a timing issue with some operations trying to get the crop planted when it needs to be planted. So like most things in farming, we all kind of do it a little different, but we all strive for the same outcome and it's just whatever works best for those operations. Well, with all supply chain issues and availability issues, last year to this year, a huge difference in the price of all nitrogen fertilizers really. Oh, definitely so. Um, thank goodness we got the tariff beat back from CF Industries, and we've watched the price of nitrogen just fall drastically. Um, you know, obviously we're using anhydrous ammonia here, but we've seen it across all spectrums. You know, looking at the price of anhydrous, we're almost half of what we were last year, and it, it's just amazing the, the price gouging that has taken place when, in our industry. It's really a shame, but it's glad we've beat that back and things are starting to come back in line. Jed, let's talk quick about uh, determining rate. How do you decide what rate you want to put down? So, um, 
I guess we've always, or at least I've always been told for years, is you always want a pound of nitrogen per bushel. Now, that's the corn plant is a lot more efficient than it used to be, obviously. So that's not necessarily a, a true science anymore, but we, we certainly still look at that. And now we also take into effect our soil types and drainage of fields, and, and, and we got a big list of things now. So within that, and we go back to previous yield data because obviously we, we record all that stuff and we look, and every year we try and tweak some things, but when we look at yields overall of a field and how we adjust and when we variable rate those, we take a huge amount of stuff into consideration, not just back in the day when it was one, one pound of nitrogen equaled one bushel of corn. So again, corn plant's much more efficient, but we take there's a lot of science involved in deciding that now. Makes a lot of sense. Again, my guest, Judd Bauer at Bauer Family Farms, thanks to Precision Agri Services for this cab cam. This spring's cab cam series is made possible by Precision Agri Services Inc. Since 1994, Precision Agri Services Inc. has provided the best agronomic, environmental, ag technology, planter services, and planter products to farmers and agribusinesses. For more info, visit precisionagriservices.com.